Hello ladies, it is Thursday. The challenge I was supposed to have this week was that I was supposed to make bread in honor of the Hunger Games, but I can't make bread because I don't know how. So you can punish me for that. Punishments in the comment section, please. The challenge I had uh, last challenge week was to talk about one of my most inspirational stories, I guess. Mm, the story that inspired me the most. I didn't want to go to book form because immediately my first book choice would be, you know, Harry Potter. So I decided to go looking somewhere else, a different type of medium for my inspirational story. I have a lot of inspirational movies that I own or that I've seen, you know, and so I picked three of my top inspirational stories based on, um, movie. The first one is The King's Speech. I don't know how many of you have actually seen this movie. But if you haven't, you go watch it right now because this is like one of the most inspirational movies I've ever watched in my life, which is why I, I chose it. Um, it's got Jeffrey Rush, Colin Firth, and Helena Bonham Carter. And it's about um, King George VI and how he has a stuttering problem and how um, it's just kind of his, his struggle through his entire life um, going through his entire life with this stutter and how he was like mistreated as a kid and how he has to go he has to take this position on the, on the throne because his brother's a jerk basically the next movie is the pianist i don't know how many of you've seen it excellent movie go watch this um it's set in a oh, world war ii um era with uh it's about a jewish man a jewish pianist and he it's a true story. Both of these are true. The King's Speech and obviously the King's Speech is a true story. This is a true story about um, this Polish Jewish man who um, went through all the struggle to survive and he ends up surviving and getting through all of this, like losing his family, you know, seeing all his friends die. And it's a really good movie. It's very sad and depressing kind of movie but it's a really really good movie the third one I don't actually own but I've seen it's online on YouTube actually you can watch it because it's not sold here in the US which is unfortunate because well it, you can buy it but it won't play on your DVD player because of the whole region whatever anyway um, I don't know how many of you have ever heard of third star with Benedict Cumberbatch but if you have not seen this movie already you need to go watch it. It is like a staple in your movie seeing, I don't even know what. You just need to go and watch it. It is, it is the most emotional movie I've ever watched in my life. You go up, 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 everything's and it's down, up, and it's, it's like an emotional roller coaster. And by the end, basically about this man um, who has cancer and it goes, it goes into the subject about assisted suicide. And, my God, it is one of the most powerful movies I've ever... Uh, I can't even begin to explain to you how just, oh, this movie. All three of these movies just want to make me just get up off my butt and go do something with my life. Because these people have gone through struggle after struggle after struggle. And they have persevered and they have, you know, beaten the fire and they've dodged the bullet and they're headstrong people and they just go at it and I want to do something with my life after I watch these movies. After these movies I want to go out and just do something. I don't know what but it always makes me want to go do something.